All right, so let's get this differential party started. So what is a differential equation? A differential equation or ODE is simply an equation that involves one or more uh, derivatives of a function y. So again, a differential equation is an equation that involves one or more derivatives of a function y. And of course, a picture says a thousand words. So this is best explained via examples. So here are at least four examples. And of course, we'll talk more about them. So today, we will actually solve the basic ODE, which is simply y prime equals 2y, which has a very cool application with cell growth. But of course, you could also have second order ODE which we'll also thoroughly discuss ODE, such as y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equals zero. So we'll completely solve it and also interpret it in terms of mechanics. But really, you have to understand anything that involves the derivative of y is a differential equation. So just to be extra spicy, let's do y triple prime squared <laughs> equals sine of y cubed plus y, and why not an extra t squared? So this is a legit differential equation, probably too hard for us to solve, but it deserves some love as well. Another interesting thing we'll also talk about is systems of ODE, of ODE. And that's when two or more functions are coupled with each other. Like x prime of t equals 2x of t minus 3y of t and y prime of t equals 5x of t plus 6y of t. So you see here x and y do two functions that are coupled together. And our goal will be to uncouple them. And then another thing I would just briefly like to mention are what's called PDE, so partial differential equation. And that is really outside of the scope of the course, but it would be equation involving derivatives with respect to two variables, like d squared u dx dt, so the position and time variable plus u equals du over dx squared. Or again, here, u is a function of two variables. So x is usually position, t is usually time, but this is usually covered in APMA 360. And they are more complicated, but also much more interesting. Now, of course, they are fun to study on their own, but really the real reason ODEs are so powerful is because of their applications. And I would like to mention a couple of them. There's an app for that. Because ODE are really used to model and describe processes in various fields, such as biology, in fact, at the end, we will see two really cool applications. One is for epidemiology. Gee, such as COVID. So we'll have a cool COVID model for um, differential equations. And also ecology. 
So we will see how a bunny population and sheep population will behave if they coexist. Of course, one topic that is very important currently is also climate research. Such a, you can actually use uh, ODEs to model wildfires. Of course, some people like money, so there's also economics. So there is, I do want to mention, ODE that models the stock market. So if you can solve it, then you can actually predict the stock market. But of course, this is a bit too hard to solve. <laughs> and of course, the thing that probably originated ODEs, which is engineering and physics. In fact, we will see a lot of applications to those fields. In physics, like mass spring systems, for instance. And a really big buzzword right now is deep learning. So in fact, there are ODE applications to deep learning. Deep learning. And neuroscience. So think like, um, for instance, also neural networks as well. And believe it or not, my friend told me about this, but you can even solve ODEs if there is a zombie outbreak. So if one day there is a zombie outbreak, you will be prepared because you can have an ODE model for their population. Not sure how useful it will be in your survival, but it's still cool to know. And last but not least, this is something dear to me because I got my PhD because of an ODE. No, oh, that rhymes. And in fact, I will talk about this later in the systems of differential equations chapter because you can also model chemical reactions using an OD. So what is the moral of this? The moral of this is whenever something changes, there is an ODE. And basically differential equations, they model phenomena that change. So in particular, you really see them everywhere because the whole world around you changes. Finally, I would like to conclude with a really cool word from my PhD advisor who says, if you can solve all differential equations, then you can solve the universe. What does that mean? Well, not only a differential equation is hard to solve, but also each equation, it's its own little universe. So when you solve chemical reactions, you gain some insight into chemical reactions. When you uh, study COVID with a differential equation, you gain some insight into it as well. So it really, really is a very powerful subject.